Point, point of order, Senator Betty Akpiafi. Mr. President, um, distinguished colleagues, um, my point of order is a constitutional order. Mr. President, Section, 8, Section 81, 82 of the Nigerian Constitution, 80, 81 to 83, states uh, clearly how um, expenditure can be made by the government. One of it is through budgeting. The next is through supplementary budget as provided in the, in the Constitution. Now, I don't know where the law comes from, where we have to spend money or restructure um, expenditures through ways and means. Um, the sandwich. Excuse me, please. Just let me say something. There is nothing before the Senate now. There is nothing. Technically, the report needs to be presented and then you can raise your issue. Mr. President, the report cannot be presented because we have no laws in the land of Nigeria that covers anything called with... No, why the report should be presented is for us to know what happened. And then you can raise your point of order. Why are you... The, the Swedish uh, Senator Betty Apiavi, I, I, I rule you out of order for now. Senator Adola, you present, just hold on please. I'll rule you out of order. You will speak, you will speak, you will speak, but we need... Listen. Yes, you will represent them quite okay, but what I'm saying is, we don't have anything at the moment for you to even observe. When, no, 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 no. He leaves the report, you raise your point of order. No. No, you leave the report, please. Point, point of order, point of order. Point, point of order, Senator Smart Ademi. Point of order, point of order. Point of order. Mr. President, point of order. Opposition. Uh, the Swedish colleagues, uh, minority leader. Please, uh, le let, me, let me clarify something. I am not stopping, I'm not stopping anyone from raising observations, point of order, or commenting. But we have to have the report before us, before we... Senator Smart Ademi. There is a need to be guided with the point of order 7, 8, and 9. And I read, Mr. President, it shall be out of order to use offensive and insulting language in this chamber. Order 8, no senator shall put improper motives to any other senator. A senator desiring to speak shall raise his hand in his place, and if called upon, shall rise and address his observation to the Senate President who presided over the chamber. So, so the president, you have to respect, you have to respect. Sit down. You are, you are, you are opposition. Eh? If, if, uh, if, if because of political your party is dying, you don't come and break the hand of those here. Okay. Uh, I, I have. So, so that's why they're me. Uh, minority, minority leader. Thank you very much, uh, the Swedish colleagues. 
let me let me uh, Senator Adola, please sit down. Let me reiterate what I said. At the moment, we we don't have the report. When the report is presented, anyone who has observation, objection, comments can do so. But let's have the report before us, and then we can raise whether constitutional order or our standing orders. This is Parliament. Nobody is going to be stopped from saying what he or she thinks is appropriate. So let it not appear like I'm stopping people. No, I'm not. So it's just for us to be orderly. So, uh, Senator Adjola, please present the report. Point of order, Senator Andumi. Thank you, Mr. President. My point of order, Mr. President, is on order nine. And let me read. Privileges are the rights enjoyed by senators collectively and by the members of the Senate individually, conferred by the Legislative Houses Powers and Privileges Act of Two Laws and the Federal and the Federation 1990, and other statuses by practice of precedent. Whenever a matter of privilege arises, it should be taken immediately. Mr. President, we came into this chamber this morning, and documents that we are supposed to use for the day is supposed to be distributed to us. We have considered many. Now, it is now, it is now that the Chairman of Finance Committee distributed four page report. It's four pages with the signatures, including the signatures of the senators, asking us to consider 22 trillion. How about? We, we, uh, Mr. President, um, Senator Andumi, it's the same thing, please, you may, you may sit down. It's uh, the Somish colleagues, the Somish colleagues, um, Senator Andumi, he gave us, he gave us the report, he hasn't presented the report. I will urge us to be patient let him present the report and then all these observations we are talking about we can talk about them no 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 if he presents if he presents we can see either the weaknesses in what he is presenting or we can now make our observations whether constitutional or standing orders or whatever but at the moment we have no we have no he has not even presented so, Senator Adiola, please present the report. Hello, Mr. Uh, Mr. President. Mr. President, very distinguished colleague, Adiola Solomon, representing Lagos West. The report of the Senate Committee on Finance on the restructuring of the Ways and Means advances request by Mr. President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Mr. President, before I go ahead to present my report, sir, I've laid the report. I've laid the report. The report is here. Uh, are you sure they need more report? Sorry. I've laid it. The report is there. I've laid it. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. President, distinguished colleague, I share in the sentiment of some of my colleagues who has raised this observation because this is not one instrument that we are used to as a Senate. But let me place it on record that ways and means are windows that are used by
by the government when there is need for government or cash intervention by the federal government. Yes. So, Mr. President, I don't want us to exercise any fear about what is contained in this. It's normal. We should even commend the government for bringing this information out. It's here. The Senate, the Senate that is sitting on the 22nd December 2023 read the letter of Mr. President on the restructuring on the restructurings of the Ways and Means advances and the first say to the Committee on Finance, Appropriation, Works, Water Resources, Agri and Rural Development. The Ways and Means advances by the Central Bank of Nigeria to the Federal Government has been a funding option available to the Federal Government to cater for a short term or emergency finance to fund the late government expected cash receipt or fiscal deficit. The Ways and Means balance as at 19 December 2022 stood at the sum of 22 trillion 719,703,774,306 naira 90 cover. Mr. President, Scrutinizing the ways and means balances, the committee engaged the Minister of Finance and also representative of the Central Bank of Nigeria. The Central Bank Governor was unavoidably absent, is out of the country. Mr. President, the committee also requested that the detailed breakdown of this sum of 22 trillion naira be forwarded to the committee as these balances of 22 trillion naira span across over 10 years and they have agreed to forward the same document to the committee on or before Friday of this week. Mr. President, distinguished colleague, observation. The committee observed that one, that there should be adequate briefing by the government whenever the ways and means advances is being solved. Two, that the restructuring of the 22 trillion, 719 billion, 703 million, 774,306 naira is in the interest of the federal government as it lessens the repayment burden on the federal government debt. Three, that the government should improve the synergy between its monetary and fiscal policy. Recommendation. One, that the restructuring of 23, 23 trillion, 719 billion, 703 million, 774,300. Uh, Chief Whip. Chief Whip. Please, the, the chamber is noisy. Opportunity for the opportunity to serve in this capacity. Mr. President, The breakdown for the 1 trillion includes 69 billion, 247,000, uh, the, uh, the Swedish colleagues, please allow him to land. Allow him to land, please. You should round up. Round up. You should round up, please. Senator Yusuf, Yusuf, point of order, point of order, Senator, just hold on please. Po 
ruwan da wada sanada saki mu the so much colleagues the so much colleagues The Songwish colleagues. The Songwish colleagues. Well, I, I, I'm sure we, we need to keep quiet to listen to. No, 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 no. Just hold on. The Sungwish Senator Betty Abiyafi, please take your seat. The Sungwish colleagues, there is no observation, but let me assure you this. Whoever wants to speak, will speak. There's, there's no need to, to, to shout. Whoever wants to speak, will speak. But we need to listen. Uh -huh. Mr. Senior President, my distinguished colleagues, I am coming on conditional point of orders. Section 80, Section 83, Section 111, Section 31, and then Section 38 of the CBM Act, and then I'll go to order 10. So if you allow me, let me take in the sequence. You will proceed. Section 80 of the 1999 Constitution as amended. Order, 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 All revenues or other monies raised or received by the federal by the federation not being revenue or other monies payable under this constitution or any act of the national assembly into any other public fund of the federation established for a specific purpose shall be paid into into and form one consolidated revenue fund of the federation two no money shall be withdrawn from the consolidated revenue fund of the federation except to meet expenditure that is charged upon the fund by this constitution or where the issue of those monies have been authorized by an appropriation act supplementary act or an act passed in pursuance of section 81 of this constitution three no money shall be withdrawn from any public fund of the Federation other than the Consolidated Revenue Fund of the Federation unless the issue of those monies has been authorized by an act of the National Assembly. Section 84. No money shall be withdrawn from the Consolidated Revenue Fund or any other fund of the Federation except in the manner prescribed by the National Assembly except in the manner prescribed by the National Assembly. Section 83. <laughs> the National Assembly may make, may but not make provision for the establishment of, of a community fund for the Federation and for authorizing the President. If satisfied, if satisfied, <laughs> that there has been a reason an urgent and unseen, unforeseen need for expenditure for which no other provision exists to make advances from the form to meet the needs. 83.2. Where any advance is made in accordance with the provision of this section, a supplementary estimate shall be presented and a supplementary appropriation bill shall be introduced as soon as possible for the purpose of replacing the amount so advanced. 
as soon as possible for the purpose of replacing the amount so advanced. Section 111. Mr. President, this constitution is supreme and its provisions shall allow binding force on all authorities and persons throughout the Federation, the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Now please let's take a 13-1. Section 13. It shall be the duty and responsibility of all of the point of order leader. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, in accordance with our Order 8, Section 3, order, order. I move that we extend our sitting beyond the 2 o'clock. I so move. Minority Leader. Uh, Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, I rise to second the motion that this Senate uh, uh, continue sitting beyond 2, uh, two o'clock. I so second. Distinguished colleagues, there was a favor of the motion that the Senate sits beyond. 2 p.m. Say aye. aye. That was again saying aye. Aye, aye. Aye, aye. Aye, Continue, Senator Sekimo. Section 13. Aye. Section 13. Aye. It shall be the duty and responsibility of all organs of government and of all authorities and persons exercising legislative, executive, or judicial powers to conform to, observe, and apply the provisions of this chapter of this constitution. To observe and apply. Mr. President, we go to the CBN Act, Section 38. He says this Notwithstanding the provision of Section 34D of this Act, Bank may be grant temporary advances to the federal government in respect of temporary deficiency of budget revenue at such rates of interest of these two. The total amount of such advances outstanding shall not at any time exceed 5% of the previous year's actual revenue of the federal government. All advances made possible to this section shall be repaid A, as soon as possible and shall in any event be repayable by the hand of the federal of the federal government financial year in which they are granted and if such advances remain unpaid at the end of the year the power of the bank to grant such further advances in any subsequent year shall not be accessible unless the outstanding advances have been paid mr president i can refer us to many other areas but for lack of time all right, all right, as, as my colleagues wishes. In such form as the bank may determine, provided that no repayment shall take the form of a promissory note or such other promises to pay, or, or, other promise to pay at a future date or securitization by way of issuance of treasury bills, bonds, certificate, or other forms of security which is required to be underwritten by the bank. Mr. President, having said this, uh, please give me a sign for that. Having said this, permit me to take you to order 9 and 10. Order 9 is on privileges. Let me read, let, let me read 10. You may proceed. Any senator may rise at any time to speak upon a matter of privilege suddenly arising, and he shall be prepared to move without notice a motion declaring that a content of breach of privilege has been committed, or referring the matter to the Committee on Ethics and Privileges. But if the matter is raised in Committee of the whole Senate, the Chairman shall leave the Chair and report progress. My colleague, please, can read, he can read 11 and 9. Mr. President, we came into this chamber today and we are giving a report, a, a report of the Committee on Finance on asking for securitization 
of 22.71 trillion, which has been spent according to him in the past 10 years. Whether it is 10 years, it is five years, whatever it is, it's seven years or six years. The issue is that such payments, such money that are taken, as soon as they are taken, the senior should be informed. And then we we'll look at it all, we should be advanced with information, a request that such money is going to be taken. Because it's been taken on behalf of the people of, the, of Nigeria. And we are entrusted with the power to make laws. And we will not appropriate, according to the law of the Constitution, we can appropriate. They don't just ask for the form. The form must be asked with, in accordance with a requirement or request that we are using this fund for A, B, C, D, E mm -hmm. every year. And that in the next year, if they want to take another one, this one like, should have been paid. Should have been paid at the end of the year that it was granted. Now, we are giving a bulk sum of 22.7 trillion. 23, yes. Added, 23, added one. Hold on. 23 has, that is added to the 850 yeah, something billion. That one has to be a part of the problem. But it's only 2.719 trillion. Mr. President, it will be an abuse of our personal selves yes. and uh, against our privilege that we come here and it was requested that we have spent this money on behalf of Nigerians in the past seven or six years and have approved it without details. There are no details. There are no details. Now we are. Okay, I, I think you you, you have you have given me the. Okay, please round up, because we are many in this place. Yes. This this money, of the expenditure of this money that we should approve. You are one of the best legislators in this country. You are. From when I know it now, you are one of the best. One of the astounding legislators in this, in this country. So I, I know I, I know that. We thank you, thank you very much for 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 that uh, compliment. Thank you. It would be wrong for this Senate to approve this thing without having details how this money is spent. It will be wrong, and we should not even proceed it. I will advise this. Okay, thank you very much. Because it's privilege, I will advise. I will advise that we stand down this debate until we have the details. Until we have the details, that I will still be responding. Okay. Please take your seat. Um, thank you very much. Um, no, somebody raise point of order, please. He raised points of order. Um, le le let me say this. We are all on the same page. When we constituted the joint committee, I remember very, very well that I said the committee should be thorough, there should be scrutiny, they should invite every institution that has to do with this ways and means. And I also said those institutions should provide all the necessary details. Well, it's, it's for our committee now to confirm they have no details. If they have no details, if, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Uh, Senate leader. Senate leader, minority leader. Minority leader.
Station. Yeah. 